In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to use the YouTube Cards Editor in YouTube Studio. Cards are those little eye icons in the top corner of your screen. It's so difficult, it's mirrored. YouTube Cards are important because they can lead to more session watch time, which in turn leads to more promotion, which leads to more views, which leads to more subscribers. So let's dive into it. I'm so glad that you tuned in. My name is Dexter Clark from the Netherlands. And with this YouTube channel and my website, socialvideoplaanse.com, I help YouTube creators explode their views and their subscribers with their YouTube channels. So if you're into that sort of stuff, you should definitely consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you get a notification when I upload a new video. Technically, you could set cards at the beginning of your video, but it may result in viewers clicking away from your current video and you don't want that because bad watch time, less promotion on your current video. So do that after four or five or six minutes or so into your video. When we are in YouTube Studio, go to the videos section. Then over here you have all your videos. I want to add a card to one of my newest videos. That is over here. Click on the pencil icon. Then it will take you to the videos details page. Then over here on the right is an item that says cards. Click on that. Then the cards editor of this video will show. This cards editor consists of a couple of different screen elements. Over here are the elements you can add. You can add a video, a playlist, a channel and a link. Over here is a preview, a player preview of what's going on on the timeline over here. So the bottom part is entirely dedicated to the timeline of your video. In this case, I have a really long video. It's 56 minutes long. So if I want to look at some details, I need to zoom in and out. So for example, I want to go over here and zoom in on this part. I click over here, zoom in, zoom in. Now you'll see that this bar represents the amount of level that you zoomed in. And now it's zoomed in on this part of the video. On the bottom of this video, you have a scroll bar in which you can also scroll the timeline. On the top here we have a representation of all the frames in the video and on the bottom we have a representation of the uh, of the audio waveform. So you can see over here it's more quiet than over here. Let's zoom out and let's go to 12 minutes and 45, uh, 54 minutes. Then over here um, add a video for example because I want to refer to another video and I can select a video on my YouTube channel. It only displays a limited amount of videos. You can search for a certain video for example I want to search on DAW, D -A -W. then it shows all my videos with DAW in it. Uh, over here that's the video I want to have but I can also search for any video on YouTube. How to feed your dog. So I can also pick another video on YouTube. In this case, I don't want to. I want to have my door video. So I click on this part and I type in door and I want to have this video. Now you'll see that this part of the screen changed and over here is a preview of what's going on over here and over here you see the card of the video. I can change this video if you want to. So I can click on another video for example over here. So now I've added another video. You can add a custom message. Custom message. You might be inclined to think that this will change that, that's not true. If you click on the eye icon, then you'll see that your custom message is over here. And your title of your video is still here. I'll click on the X icon. Then over here is the teaser. Hello, dude. And then you'll see that the eye icon over here has the text, hello, dude. So make it a uh, mega super video so people are inclined to click on the video. Let's add a playlist. So click over here on the plus icon, plus card. Then go to playlist. Then you can select one of the playlists that you have on your channel. For example, I have a playlist that is called every video. And now suggested every video is over here. 
Uh, and again, I can add a custom message and a teaser, but instead of going to a video, then it will go to a playlist. I can even change that. You can use the search, but that is the search for every video on YouTube. So playlist, then you'll see it's going to search for every play playlist on YouTube. I click on the X. Let's first select a portion of the video over here. I can add a channel, for example. For example, I want to add, because this is my DJ channel, I want to add a link to my other channel. So social video plaza and over here is social video plaza. I click on that and I type in a custom message. You saw it gave me an error message that I can only use 30 characters. In this case, I've used up 26 of them. But I can also add a link to my website. For example, I can in the video refer to my paid course. And I can refer to that with a card. So I click on card again and I say link. Now I can add a link to my website, but be careful, you can only use if I want to add Google, for example, it says ineligible URL or ineligible site because you can only add a website that you have approved. For example, I've approved DexterClark.com and now it says approved site. So I click on apply. Call to action, teaser text. Let's say I'm not happy with the position of my cart, then I can drag carts to another place in the timeline. You saw that these two cards overlapped and only one of those cards is shown. So I want to move this one back and this one I moved ahead. I can add a maximum of five cards to my video, even if you have a big video. Over here you see I added a playlist, but that playlist is private. So an exclamation mark points out to me, hey, this video this or this playlist will not be shown because it's private. Over here you see a overview of what's going on uh, when it comes to cards in your video. You see over here are, is an arrow down and that will expand the information over here so you can expand all these cards if you want to so you can see the details. And the same way you can collapse an item so you have more overview over here. If you want to delete an item you click on the bucket icon over here and it will immediately delete a card. So if I want to delete all the cards in my video I click over here. And when I want to save the changes, then I click on save. If I don't want to save the changes, I click on this card. But nobody will click on your YouTube card if you don't have a compelling video title. In this video right here, I'll show you exactly how to make such a compelling title. Because it's so important, especially if you don't have a thumbnail to catch viewers' attention.